There's a famous move in Tai Chi that some of you might know. Jingji Duli, aka Golden Rooster stands on one leg. That's probably not how it's actually translated, but that's how I'm going to translate it. There's two variations depending on what style of Tai Chi you've probably seen. One variation starts from a front bow stance position. So I'm here. As I go up, same side. Here. As I go up, so I'm standing on one foot, right? Standing on one leg, and I come down. There's another really fascinating version I saw. I go into a cat stance, and instead of bending as I come up, check out what I do. I raise my foot directly up like this, and then I come down, and then I can do it the other side. I can raise my foot directly up. I have to be careful not to kick the table. And then I come back. I want to give a shout out to Xavier Santana since a lot of you know I hurt my wrist. So Xavier Santana, who's a Sandak Kung Fu guy, said, dude, Jerry, just do some forms. Kung Fu got amazing forms. And so that got me to look at Tai Chi Chuan because again, Tai Chi Chuan, a lot of good proprioception, a lot of good body awareness. The YouTube algorithm recommended me this video and that got me to think about stuff and then it got me to search more and hence the title of this video. So check out these two ways of doing that similar move, but now you apply a weapon. Whoa, whoa. So this master's 98, hence why he couldn't really stand on one leg. But still, look at this. You put a stick into this, and it's a defensive move right there. See that? If you make his left hand the one near his face, it can totally work too. So just because he has the other hand by his face, just flip it and try it yourself. It still makes sense from a defensive angle. And now check out with a sword. So this master, this looks especially kind of like that second variation, except the knees bent. But it makes so much sense with the sword. It's kind of like a parrying move. So again, if he were actually fighting, the sword would probably be even more at an angle when it's raised up like this. Inspired by Xavier Santana, I'm going to start looking at these Kung Fu forms that I've seen people do or I've even done myself. I'll keep looking through the archives to see if there's really cool interpretations slash really cool methods to understand these movements beyond just a proprioception or artistic type of interpretation. It is getting better, so that's good. I need to get my upper body moving more. So I will use Kung Fu forms, Tai Chi forms, even Karate forms to get my body moving again. That's my assurance to myself and my guarantee to you guys. I won't stop the training taking a long enough break. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Talk to you very soon.